more problems. One to the alignment place, couldn't do it. One to another one, couldn't do it. Called two people, they couldn't do it. Called a third person, they could do it, but they're not they're not gonna be uh, ready until mid next week. And I leave in three days to go to work. So I really gotta try to get this done today. Who knew how hard it was just to get alignment done on Snow Badger? They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be <laughs> On the rescue <laughs> You're gonna have to send me that one Alright, I can do that Here, Brandon, so we gotta get the trailer, pick up a car. But we're just waiting for him to get this one built. And hopefully we can get him to build this so that we can uh, have a note prep car. This is gonna be a little bit. Well, let's, uh, let's keep pushing him to get this one built. All right, so my Brandon's shop and no one can align this or they couldn't because I don't know. So I'm just gonna go ahead, Brandon and I are gonna get these aligned as best as we can. And then our belly Dylan's coming up. We're gonna get him to tune the car. So then hopefully we can make maybe like a 60 foot pass or like a 330 or something. So let me go ahead and get this going. Do anything that I wouldn't do. And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon. <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do. I got a different path from everyone and that includes you. Who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times, it feels like nobody's right, yeah. So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell could make me happy And I don't think you have a clue what could that be They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous could be special if I get rid of the devils They think that I am a rebel I think they want me to settle There's nobody on my level They think that work is too stressful I think that work is essential The grind is all in your mental And I don't think you understand what I'll go through Alright, so Brandon and I adjusted it as uh, The toe in and out as much as possible With our eyeball And it came out pretty straight It is cambered Because as you see now There's lots of wheel gap on there but we want to do the no prep and have it sit back more. So now it does. And we're going to go ahead and look at some other stuff and make sure everything's good to go. All right. We got Dylan here. Yee! He's going to tune Snow Badger for me. He's going to teach me some things on it. He's going to download the file first, look it over, make sure everything's good to go before we actually turn it on and do everything. He's going to tune at seven pounds right now, so at least I can make some passes and stuff. And if we have some free time, then we'll bump it up to the 14-pound springs. He's excited for that. And then we'll see how that goes. So then I can have both tunes, and then Dylan will show me how I put the different tunes in for the different springs. So let's let the man do his job. Just to be in control of my life soon. All the negativity, man, I'm immune. I don't really need a mask with all I've been through. I've been making changes for the ages. Five, ten year plans are contagious. I attack that shit, I'm tenacious. And if you ain't, get the fuck out of my way then. Got one life I won't regret. Alright, the new tune's in it, so let's go ahead and start this up.
go drive around see how it does all right so what we did you guys saw it didn't run so we put the normal tune back into it and now what dylan did he did the spark table on it to see if it likes that and then we're going to go from there and then we'll adjust some fuel after that no cargo ships i'm good so dylan had to take off to uh go back home with his family he had something to do but we got six passes out of it. I did not record anything on Snow Badger because he was looking at everything and I wanted to drive the car first and make sure everything was good to go. Like the oil pressure, um, the closed loop compensation on it, the TPS, which is the throttle positioning sensor. I wanted to make sure everything was good. So we did six passes on it. The second pass we did was the best one. And uh, we did a timing. Uh, we adjusted the timing on it and it ran great fantastic pulled so hard through all the gears had no problem a little rough on um like just normal traveling around but that's okay like it's nothing bad like i can drive it around but the other ones we did like uh test pass three we added fuel into it more it didn't really like that so we got rid of that one test pass four uh, he adjusted more of the fuel table a lot better that worked out so much more and that was comparable to um, <clears throat> Test pass two Then we went on to five five. We did some other stuff and it didn't like it So we closed out a test uh, Pass five because the closed loop was up to like 44% and we wanted to try to keep it under 10 and the closed loop is what it's doing. It's uh, self-learning everything. So if it needs more fuel, it's doing that. So it's going up 40% more than what they need to put everything into. So then we do test pass six. He fixes the closed loop and all that. And test pass six was great. Ran fantastic. Everything was good to go with it. Um, but now what we're gonna do is test pass six is gonna be our base tune to really dial everything in. Um, test pass six was the one where normal running around through first and uh, second gear and third gear like just cruising not under boost or anything beautifully runs like a caddy all day and now uh, we just had to adjust the top end on all of it so now that we're going to adjust the top end on test six that's going to be our testing one to make sure everything's good to go but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drive around on test pass two because that's the one that I can get into the boost more. Everything was good to go up top. Uh, the closed loop system was good to go and it's not overcompensating for anything except for maybe down low a little bit. But even that, that was still under the 10% of the closed loop what we wanted it to do. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get it into Brandon's shop then because we're gonna do an oil change on it, make sure that the oil is good to go and then uh, everything will be set and then we can go ahead and have Dylan tune everything again, make sure it's good and then we'll be good with everything and maybe put a different spring in because right now we only have the seven PSI. <laughs> So Brandon rode in with me in Snow Badger, and as you saw from the video, oil pressure is great. At idle, comes down to about what was it, like 18? About 18 to 20, 
And we also did an oil change with the Vaveline VR1 20W50 oil in it. And it, help, it did help it out. It jumped it up eight PSI from idle. But what Brandon is recommending, what he believes, because when we did the oil change, there was no metal in there. And it did exactly the same thing that it did earlier in the day. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna order a different oil pump with the Copo spring in it so we can bump that oil pressure up even more at idle. And then uh, we'll be good to go, get more pressure on it. And then Snow Badger will be good to go. But we're also gonna have Dylan still tune it on um, the test tune because he did send me, I think, test seven. But I won't be able to do that until I come back from being out of town. And then when that happens, I'll be here to shop with Brandon over here. And then we'll be able to get that going and hopefully do some racing. Or, sorry, testing first. And then we'll do some racing. So, subscribe down below. Also, I'm gonna link Brandon's Facebook page in the description so you can go over and follow him if you don't know it. There's PHP, if you guys don't know it already. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. Till next time, peace.